If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Okay guys, so just had to take a quick little break before um, talking about the attacker evolution, which is going to be the two-footed attack right so we're gonna check out some of the popular choices again guys as usual be sure to check out some of the evolutions that you have been improving over the course of the year uh because you actually might have some options in your team where you know you've been doing sentimental cards and now they've gone to a point that they actually look really good okay so two-footed attack um the main one here is obviously going to be cristiano ronaldo because it's ronaldo for the most part right um marco Asensio is the car that shows up first over here for people that want to go in that direction too uh honestly marco Asensio is probably not going to be the most ideal fit uh until maybe he gets like another evolution in the future but you know uh the play style plus they end up giving is actually the power shot plus but they do give you the five star weak foot so that's going to be a really key thing to work with because with ronaldo uh, they just don't give him a five star five star unless it's like the new promo cards and stuff, which is weird because Ronaldo should have a five star weak foot, but it is what it is, right? So with Power Shot Plus being added to the card, you have the Ronaldo version. Um, if we're all going to be completely honest, you evil this card because you just like Ronaldo, right? Um, I think that you definitely should be looking at some options in your team in regards to which evolutions you've been improving for the most part. If they fit that evolution. Uh, because this card, although I could see him performing well in game, because honestly his shooting is perfect and he could definitely strike the ball really well, especially with that power shot plus, I think that with the dribbling and the way that he generally performs in game when it comes to that, it is a little bit weird to work with, right? But uh, again, will be one of the main options to go with if uh, you want a cheaper alternative. Cole Palmer uh is trending but i don't think that's because of that specific thing um two-footed attacker two-footed attacker and then we go to the popular choices here um wilson wilson from fulham so from the inform you can put him into jack of all trades two-footed attack and you get a welsh attacker that is formatted a little bit strangely not fully strangely because like the way that he looks is you know a card you'd probably give a marksman chemistry style to uh to boost his shooting as well as his dribbling as much as possible but the pace is on the lower side so i'd probably give him a hunter or a hawk to improve that area as much as possible anyways but for people who are welsh building that sort of team obviously you have a pretty nice w to work with here first touch plus with power shot plus trivella usability will be uh a little bit higher for that card uh, we have a card like this, like Bergeis, Bergeis, something like this. First Touch Plus, Power Shot Plus. Uh, again, a card that's a little bit more outdated in regards to general choices that you have to work with. I think for this one, you definitely have to um, check something like Easy SBC, right? So I would say we're going to do that. I'm going to go to Two-Footed Attack, right? So uh, we could do Chained Evolutions as well which could come out with some decent cards, right? So you've got cards like Izak, who turns into a five-star, five-star player from an 81 rated. Take a look at that, right? So two-footed attack into jack-of-all-trades uh, puts him in a significantly better area, right? So you get the pace boost, you get the shooting boost, and you get first touch plus and the power shot plus, which is interesting for sure. Um... Lacazette gets a pretty significant improvement. Is this a engine on him? Oh, it's a hunter. Yeah, you just give the hunter on him if you went down that route. Let's see here. So we have this guy always gets different evolutions on a consistent basis because of the five star, five star. Ulcrig gets a card from the inform. Rodri gets one from the lower rated card as well. Um, there's going to be options like I would say Talishka will probably have a card too, right? So if you go to Talishka's card, just as an example, uh, not the radioactive, but just the rare gold version, evolutions. Um, and then we go to two-footed attack, right? So this is what I'm trying, this is what I'm trying to say. Like you have to look at some of the options you have here, right? So this Talishka, right, uh, turns into a five-star, five-star player, left-footed, 
Body type is very unique with him, right? It's a little bit different because I'm not sure how this would work after the patch in all honesty, because it is a little bit different, but the card on an engine, on a hunter, definitely looking pretty decent. Even Sokka has a, a card as well. Um, he's actually over here. So there's a... Uh, which one is it? The Sokka card. Yeah, so it's this one right here from the rare gold improvement as well. The thing about Sokka is that, like, I never tried out the new birthday versions of the cards, but this one is still, like, a three-star, five-star player. So you would have to kind of, you know, be into the game at this point and then wanting to build an arsenal squad for you to kind of put it into this because this is uh insanely outdated at this point in the game right let's just really really crazy to kind of do all that uh let's see if there's anything else that's trending from the two-footed attack there's someone like patrick schick who actually gets one too inform card leverkusen this guy's actually doing a really solid job irl for leverkusen he's been uh He's been good. He's been very good. I seen him score a crazy finish the other day where he was on the right side and hit its like top left from like a specific finish on his left foot. And it was an insane, insane strike. But um, yeah, it's it's interesting, man, because this guy was the one that like broke into the scene, I believe, like during the World Cup. I think it was for the World Cup. And then he got a transfer to like, I think it was I think it was to Leverkusen. And now they could potentially win the league. It's kind of it's kind of sick how football kind of. Uh, unveils itself you know it's really fun um two-footed attack Sokka. i can't just do two-footed attack because they don't actually update in that way two-footed attack for the inform card as well that's mostly sentimental for the greek guys if they were to do that uh olivier Giroud from the inform card gets one honestly if you were going to still use Giroud. Might as well have been the flashback card during that time period, eh? I forgot about this card, man. I totally forgot about this card. And he hasn't received an evolution ever since that time period, eh? I wonder if anybody still has him. Because that's insane. That's a card that's been there for a hot minute. That's actually... That's crazy. Now that i just seen that. <laughs> Two-footed attack for Immobile as well. Footed attack. This is uh, Boris Legend's cousin right here. Hawk chemistry style. Controlled player. Is that what he's actually like? Uh, uncontrolled? I don't know if it's actually controlled. I'm curious now. Let's see here. Footwiz. Do, 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 do. I'll do this and I'll also do this to see some options here. Okay, um, do this. Alrighty, then what is this? Skilled wing defense right back from Sergio Roberto. Yeah, we checked that out before. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, evolutions. A skilled wing defense. Do two foot attack. Two foot attack. Oh, you can do it from these guys, eh? So it's it's mostly like the physical type attackers. Ah, I see. So if you have Diogo Jota, you can do it on him too, eh? Completed evolutions. Yeah, it's mostly for the it's mostly for the physical dudes, eh? Is this one's from the inform though, right? Yeah, that's from the inform. Not from the player of the month. You see here, player of the month. Evolutions. You got nothing, mate. You got nothing. No evolutions available. Yeah, it's mostly it's mostly like the physical type attackers, eh? Like Jota gets one, but he's a four star, five star. Probably should have done some other variations at this point. Undov gets one. Ziyech, this is from the blue card, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Turkish league fans are cooking tonight. Uh, Diogo Jota, Shaw, Shaw striker, eh? Talishka, Talishka is the one that gets a pretty significant improvement. Plus four on the inform, four star, four star. Four star, five star for this one with Power Shot Plus. Not too shabby. Bonza gets one. Look at that. Yeah, it's all physical players, eh? For the most part. Lacazette's going to be like one of the few ones that, uh, that isn't going to be physical. Oh, from Centurion. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, from Centurion, 37 point. Oh, he actually went up a lot, eh? 17k. 
free version of his card, four star, five star. It's funny because you would use him as a physical type attacker. I mean, yeah, at this point, you kind of have to, right? Hunter chemistry style flex for him. It looks cool. It looks cool. Play styles, first touch plus, power shot, finesse shot, power shot, technical, aerial, maybe evil in the future. Depends, right? Uh, Jota, Wilson gets a card. Rapino, Lukaku gets a card from what? That's that's a card too. Yeah, from the inform. Okay. Inform as well. Kano, Solshar, Crespo. Crespo gets one as well. So Crespo gets a, a new one from Two Footed Attack. Four star, five star from the icon version. Uh, you know what? It, again, just like the last time we actually checked out this card, the usability of this card looks pretty decent. It's not bad. Finesse shot, acrobatic, aerial, power header, and power shots. Okay. For that variation of it. Um, Schuler, Girelli, Mane gets one, 90 dribbling. Mane, power shot plus evolutions. Interesting. Mane gets one. Uh, let's see the rare gold here. Evolutions. Show all other Mane. This is what I want to see. Base player into secret stuff would be 200k for him. That's crazy. Holy. Saka, Juta, Dimitrovic. A lot of physical dudes, eh? Gold Crow gets one. Grifo, Shakiri gets one. Millard, Haji. Haji? Oh. Haji gets another one, eh? Still has 89 dribbling with that card. That's a little bit outdated. Not a little bit, it's very outdated. Uh Merton, Sobosloy. Sobosloy gets one four star, five star. I think he has a he has other ones that are like five star, five star, but again, depends on what they do with evolutions in the future. Jackson. Oh, Jackson gets a card too, eh? Three star, five star for him. The pie. Ah, oh, let's see what Easy SBC has. Okay. Um, evolutions. Two footed attack. Do a pretty good job of showing you the ones that are here too. See, what I'm curious about is again improvements from cards before. So, like, I don't know. Like, let's say, let's say. Again, I'm using this as a, I have to always state this every time because we were like, we, we, people don't care about these cards. I'm like, yeah, I'm just showing you like sentimental value. Let's see. There you go. See, this is what I'm talking about, because with these evolutions, you can obviously have options now, but these are mainly for people that have been improving their evolution cards the way that they probably should have. Right. So Fabio Silva is a really good example of what I'm talking about, because if you improved them up until this point, he gets very significant stat increases in multiple areas of the card. He does have better versions because this one, for instance, has 86 balance, 88 for agility, right? So a little bit better to work with. But look, two-footed attack. He's a five-star, five-star player from triple threat attacker, jack of all trades, jack of all trades, two into two-footed attack. And, you know, you have a pretty usable version of a physical type striker with Fabio Silva, right? And it depends on the play styles you want to go with and all that kind of stuff too. Um I guess we could search a card like Xerxy, like maybe from his silver, he probably has one too. Yeah, there you go. See, so Xerxy, if you improved ever since the beginning, Centurion Striker, Power Shooter, Birthday Magic into two-footed attack too. This is where you start to get cards that are a little bit more interesting, right? Because you've been improving your cards as the time has gone by, right? Uh, strikers, I'm trying to think of strikers right now. I think of the Liverpool kids. I know they're not in the game. Ugh. I know they're not in the game. Because I searched them earlier, unless they updated it recently, but I have no idea, honestly. Xerxes, Fabio Silva, um... Yeah, it could be it could be anybody, man, like it, it, just anybody that you can think of that, you know, you actually intended to use on the evolutions in a way that makes more sense. Like that's that's the key thing, right? Wilson gets one, two, three star, five star. That's from look, Founders Evolution, found, Founders Upgrade into two footed attack. Um, I'm trying to think of stuff like at the top of my head, like let's say Gonzalo Ramos, right? Let's say I'm a huge fan of Gonzalo Ramos. Rare gold version, 
two-footed attack as well, right? So power shot plus from power shooter, stop right there, two-footed attack, another option you can work with, right? So again, it's very important to check out some of the sentimental cards that you have improved yourself because you've probably gotten to a gotten to them to a point where they're gonna be meta enough if the improvements make sense, right? Because with this card, it's a two-star, five-star. A lot of stuff a little bit outdated, but I'm just using these guys as an example of chained evolutions over the course of time for some of the cards that could currently exist, right? So, but yeah, uh, I'm exhausted. I'm really tired. <laughs> you guys couldn't tell. I'm going to go get some sleep. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.